In other education news, Governor McMaster joined the South Carolina Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Office and the Department of Education today to launch a new resource to track school funding. The Education Funding Dashboard aims to provide transparency and accountability for school districts across the state. On the dashboard, you can clearly find data showing how taxpayer dollars are spent by the school districts, as well as how student teacher ratios work out, teacher salaries and student poverty levels. The data featured was pulled from the 2021 2022 school year. This dashboard was created as a requirement for McMaster's 2022 education funding reform. The News 19 team took a look at the data and here's a peek at what we found. We took a look at Richland one during the 2021 2022 school year. Richland one had a little over 1700 teachers and the average salary was $55,000 and with 21,000 students, the teacher ratio was one teacher for every 12 students. More than 76% of those students were considered to be living in poverty. All right, now let's take a look at those poverty numbers. The dashboard also shows a little more than 60% of all students in the state were in poverty in 21-22 school year. The district with the highest percentage of poverty was Allendale at 94%. But here in the Midlands, Lee County had the highest student poverty rate at a staggering 92% of their students. The lowest was Lexington Richland 5 with only about 43% of their students living in poverty.